These farm tractors have gone wild, so wild that this tractor video is not for kids. Just kidding. This tractor video is totally for kids. No adults allowed. We've got tractors everywhere. We've got tractors on the dirt roads. We've got tractors in the ditches. We've got tractors in the weeds. The John Deere 7520 is still parked though. No, this is still not a John Deere 7520 tractor video. But we've got tractors in town, like this John Deere 9410R, who's got places to be and people to see. No time for a burger, nope, no time for a burger. No time for a pancake, nope, no time for a pancake. No time for a Slurpee, what? Come on, man. Tractors are out, tractors are moving, tractors are hot. And it's all because last week's forecast called for heavy rainfall, but it merely sprinkled. What we received in its place was several days of sun and north wind, a drying wind. So not only did we not add rainwater to our rice fields, we added millions of little blow dryers set to frizz, blasting across our farm. So with the warmer weather and the dry roads, we've been super productive around the rice fields this week. I mean around the rice fields, literally, not much in the rice fields. No, we haven't started the 2019 groundwork for planting, but we have been manicuring the farm. We mowed all the roads with our Case 245 tractor. It's got a 17-foot mower hooked up to its three-point ran by the tractor's PTO. Yep, we were able to finally mow the roads for the first time this year. That's good being able to see where the edge of the road ends and the bank of the ditch begins. And talking about ditches, we also called in the backhoe to clean out some silt and slough. Called in the backhoe? What am I saying? We called in Joe. The guy's Picasso with the backhoe. Cleaning out the ditch will allow water to flow faster. It's a no-brainer when we are ready to plant rice with fertilizer on the ground. We want a quick flood so we can fly our seed on as fast as possible. Once the water hits the field, it's a race between our baby rice against weeds and insects. A clean ditch on our farm means quick water delivery to our fields. Also, backhoe Joe cleaned out some slough from our ditch pumps. We had to do a little shovel work too but now they're clean. We know we can turn them on when the time is right without burning them up jammed with mud. Bonus tractor video, even the neighbor is mowing his roads. Cute little John Deere tractor, isn't it? Bonus backhoe video, our other neighbor is laying down some gravel on his road, helping fill in some potholes. Tractors are going wild. Am I right, Bullfrog? Am I right? Of course I'm right. And back to the ditches, man. We got love for all our ditches. So for those impacted with weeds and in the name of a steady water flow, I did a little spring. We need to kill the aquatic weeds before irrigation water hits the ditches. Again, ensuring that our farm irrigation system can deliver water to our rice fields quickly. Can you believe it? We even got our Case 240 tractor hooked up to our 18-foot disc, disking up set-aside weedy knolls. We do this to kill the weeds just to make the non-production areas of the rice farm look pretty, so pretty. We're strategically starting in this area to create a fire break. We're disking up around the farmhouse, barns, equipment yard, and neighbor's property because it's about to get a fire break. That's right, we're grabbing our official forestry burn cans and our burn mix because we need to rid the levees and borders of the rice fields of dead weeds. We start the burn after checking in with our county's air quality control board because the conditions are right with the north wind blowing away from the towns, we've got a green light for red flame. There are multiple benefits of burning these small portions of our rice fields. Aside from burning back weeds, the heat is destroying any fungus spores, many viable weed seeds, and insect eggs that have wintered over the cold months all of which could affect our rice crop this spring. We also need these dead weeds off the levees because we're going to ridge them once the tractor work starts. With the ridger, we're gonna build the levees back up and fill in any rat holes. This all prevents leaks and helps us be extremely water proficient once the irrigation water begins to flow across the rice field. It's a quick, clean burn. Lots of tractor work and maintenance around the rice fields, as I mentioned. We were also able to do a bit inside the rice fields. Remember the bank out ruts that Pops put in the fields this winter to help drain off the water? Well, we don't need those ruts anymore since the fields have completely dried out. So what we're gonna do is take that Case 240 Magnum tractor with that 18 foot disc hooked up, and we're just gonna lightly scrape away those ruts. 
The only use we have for the bank out ruts now would be to create a real nice bumpy ride for someone doing first rip with the chisel once we start groundwork. And talking about chisels, man, I mean, dude, tractors gone wild everywhere. I mean, we pretty much got everything up and running just about, but yeah, we got our Case 260 Magnum and Case 340 Magnum hooked up to our three-point chisels, and we entered the field just around the shop and started calibrating them, making sure that they're level, nice and straight, meaning we're getting an even rip throughout the entire chisel, and we're also ensuring that we're not going too deep. There we go. I mean, hey, it's a tractor video. I told you guys, we're getting started real quick. I wouldn't be surprised if next week we're gonna be going full force. We'll have all our tractors running, ripping ground open, help it dry out. Guys, this is the prelude to the 2019 planting season here in the California rice fields. Kicks, yeah. I've been looking for them all my life. Tricks, I'm playing every one I need. But somehow you were bulletproof and play the use of all my moves. You swept the sweeper up of his We're getting started next week, guys. Are you excited? I'm gonna bring my camera. We'll see all these tractors running. I'll be in one of them, actually. I'll be doing the chisel. I'll be in the Case 340 Magnum chiseling up first rip. Oh man, what am I gonna pack for lunch? Let me know in the comment section below. What would you guys pack for lunch on your first day of spring work? I'm getting excited. Are you guys excited? Man. All right, all right. Good. Oh, oh man, that was kind of an intense episode there. Jeez, a lot was going on. I'm high energy, I know. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Hit the thumbs up if you're excited about planting 2019. Hashtag plant 2019. I'm out. Man. I gotta charge up my GoPro. Mount it all over the place. <laughs>